This is solving by elimination. It's actually section 8-3 in the Prentice Hall textbook. And elimination is also known as the addition method. The addition or the elimination method works by eliminating a variable when, by adding two equations together. So when you add two equations together, if you have opposites, they will eliminate. Once they're eliminated, you can solve for the other variable. And then once you have the value of that variable, plug it back in to get your other variable. You're going to get two coordinates. Uh, and then you'll get your point as a solution. But in some cases, there are different cases of set solution sets. Sometimes you'll get one solution, a graph that crosses like that. Other times, you'll get no solution. In other words, you'll work all this stuff out and you'll get an absurd statement like 0 equals 5. And that means no solution and you're going to get parallel lines. The last case that you get is if you get a situation which makes complete sense all the time, like 5 equals 5. It's always true. So then you get a line on top of one another. It's your born identity of, of math, okay? So let's go ahead without any further ado and see what we get with this one. Noticing the first step that we need to do in all these questions is to what? The elimination method. Yeah, that's the whole thing. But what's our first step? Identify the opposites. Identify the opposites, if there are already, okay? Are there any opposites here? They're all opposites. They're all opposites. So we go to step two, right? Raman, what's step two? Uh, you have to... Eliminate? Yeah, eliminate. By adding these things together, that's it. We add those together. In this case, what gets eliminated? Um, Everything yeah. obliterated. So we get 0 plus 0, plus zero. equals 0. Okay? So it's not a solution. So, okay, well be careful now. 0 equals 0, is this true or false? True. It's true. It's true. It's always true. Right, always true. So which case is this? It's not the case where they're false. Where it's false, we get no solution, because they never touch. This is always true. Think about it. The identities are the same. They may look different, but these two lines look different. That, you, you're fooled into thinking that's one line and that's another, right? Because you look at that and go, oh, that's a line and that's a line. But when you go a little closer, you realize that it's the same character. It's the same person. They just have two aliases and two identities. All right, so always true means we have infinitely many solutions. So write that down, infinitely many solutions. After this question. All right, so on this question, since this is always true, zero equals zero, we get infinitely many solutions. All right, that's the kind of solution set there is. So as Adam just said, there are three types of solution sets. You can get one solution when they cross, you can get parallel lines, which is no solutions, and you get infinitely many solutions when it's 0 equals 0, or 5 equals 5, or some true statement. 